Today we're taking a look at the Stash Stick by Mountaineer brand. Mountaineer sells their mustache wax in a 1.5 ounce container that is just a cardboard tube with a simple little pull off lid. To dispense the wax, you simply press it in the hole on the bottom, there's a little piece of cardboard down there, and press up to deploy the wax. The stash stick is available in seven different scents and an unscented option. The one that I got is Essential 7. It's got the scent of geranium, black pepper, and juniper, which gives it a really nice kind of foresty scent that is not at all overpowering, but strong enough that you may smell it for a little longer than you might a few other waxes. To apply the stash stick, you are given two different options. The first one is, of course, just to pull off the lid and to apply it like so. And then the second way is to use your thumbnail and remove a little bit of wax like you would from a normal tin and apply it that way. The ingredients in this wax are fairly simple, just containing beeswax, coconut oil, castor seed oil, and a blend of natural fragrance oils. Mountaineer Brand says that this has a strong and natural hold. My experience using the Mountaineer brand mustache wax was a fairly decent one for what it is. Now Mountaineer says that the wax is a strong natural hold, keyword a natural hold, which means that for me anyway, there's no way that I'd be able to get a curl out of this wax without pre-curling with my curlers beforehand. Which to me, that does put this wax in about a medium hold when you are comparing it to any of the other waxes that I have reviewed in the past. Now I also like that it is in a tube, so for those of you that may want to apply it like the first suggestion says, you can do that. However, I found on my mustache anyway that I had a hard time getting that wax really worked into the hairs on the backside of the mustache. Now of course I can always, you know, apply a little bit back there. and get it, you know, rubbed in there, but it just seems like that it still isn't quite as good as just putting it in my thumbnail, rubbing it around, getting that wax nice and warm before applying it. It just seems like that that is the preferred method for me at least, but it is good that it is in a container that you do have the option either way you want to do it. The Essential 7 is a nice one every now and then for about two hours I could get a whiff of it if I went outside and the wind blew the right direction. So it's not like some of the other waxes that dissipates within about 15 minutes and then you don't really smell it throughout the day. So if you have a very sensitive nose, you may want to go with their natural scented one because, well, there won't be any scent to that. Now with this being a natural hold wax, I do have to say that I rather enjoyed it. There was a lot of days that I would get out of the shower and I just wouldn't put these in because I knew that I was going to be using this this particular wax, which meant that I could go with a very nice, you know, older style, you know, just relaxed mustache without having to worry about a bunch of flyaways being all over the place and just looking unkempt. Now, when I was out and about, I did end up needing to, you know, just kind of rub my fingers through it from time to time, you know, and make sure that they were going the way that they were supposed to. But other than that, this wax held up pretty well. I can also appreciate, just like a lot of the waxes that I review, that this uses a natural ingredients because, hey, that's always the best in my book. So with all that being said, who do I think that the uh, stash stick is good for? Well, I think that it is good for anybody that has a handlebar or a large mustache that wants to go with a much more natural look. Now, if you are going for a styled look like I typically do with my handlebars, I would say that this probably isn't going to be one that you'd really need to pick up. However, even then, I think it is nice to go ahead and have it in the collection for Daisy, maybe feeling a little bit lazy. But who I think that this wax is really good for is guys that are a little more into the uh, beard life and the beard styling, where they don't necessarily need to do any styling of the mustache, but just want something to kind of help accentuate the mustache a little bit and get any flyaway hairs on it under control. Because that is one thing that this does fairly well is keeps all those hairs or at least the majority of those hairs kind of going along with the rest of the bunch. Now the cost of this stash stick comes in right about $17, which I have to say is actually pretty fair considering that it is 1.5 ounces and your typical wax is in a one ounce tin. In the video description, you will of course find a link to this wax to go and pick yourself up one if you think that it's a wax that you want to add to your stash. And of course, down in the comment section, let me know if you would like to see more mustache waxes having a uh, container like this opposed to a tin.
If you're looking for a mustache wax in the stronghold category, check out this video up here. Down below, it's going to be one that you may enjoy as well. Until next time, you all have a good one. Stash stick, stash stick, stash stick, stash stick, stash stick, stick. Man, that's hard to say five times in a row.